are you, darling? Oh, hi, Javier. Nice to meet you. Oh, nice <laughs> a little to cold, meet huh? You. Yes, a little <laughs> chilly out here. We're oh. here in Crested Butte, Colorado. Oh, beautiful um, place. Yeah, it's beautiful. The nature here, I mean, couldn't be nicer. And we're here uh, with a great opportunity to, to share information about two great companies, Mazda and Bridgestone. Absolutely. So Mazda brought us here to try the new uh, all-wheel drive system, which is very, very um, different from the rest because it's predictive. So it knows yes. that we're in Colorado because mm -hmm. the GPS. Yes. Note is called because we have sensors. It knows if we turn on the wipers, there's going to be rain. So there's like, I, I believe, 27, 27. systems mm -hmm. that react 200 times a second Absolutely. to adjust to give us the best performance while driving in the winter. And then here comes the other important uh, part, right? A Bridgestone Blizzax. Yeah. We are driving on our WS80s, which is Bridgestone's uh, winter tire. The Blinsack WS80 has technology within it that allows you to navigate through winter on ice and snow with peace of mind and grip that you wouldn't have on a traditional all season or a regular summer time. Yeah, we just went there through an exercise in which we tried back to back to back mm -hmm. uh, all season tires, mm -hmm. uh, summer tires, and then um, the bridge stuff, Blizzard. Mm -hmm. And the difference is incredible. I mean, for example, when we go in a little hill, mm -hmm. maybe we can try here a little bit when you go, let's say, 20 miles an hour, because you can, you should never drive too fast in these conditions. No, and absolutely. then when you apply the brakes, and then like the ABS kicks in, yes. the braking distance is really shorter, much shorter compared to the other ones. Oh, it is. We have launched the Blizzax on ice skating rinks to let people such as yourselves, consumers, media, all understand how incredible they are and the grip that you have and the confidence behind the wheel on a surface like this I, I hope your viewers can know that we are driving on an ice and snow and yeah, ice very packed compact. Road. it is it's like being on a skating rink right yeah. if you walk out it's like whoa but we have a technology called multi-cell compounding and if you were to look under a microscope you would see these elongated tubes kind of like the surface of the moon in which each of these uh, multi-cells are coated with this chemical coating that allows you to have uh, the moisture absorbed. So, for example, people think that ice is slippery. Yeah. But in reality, it's that thin layer of water caused by friction. On top of it. Mm -hmm. And if, because think about dry ice. If you stuck your tongue on a cube of dry ice, it's going to stick, <laughs> right? Right. Yeah. And when I go back to that TV show where yeah. the kid sticks his tongue on the pole. But when you're able to have technology that removes that thin layer of water and then allows the biting edges that we have these uh, biting edges what they call it uh -huh. in our technology and have the grip on a surface that we were just on with that ice upon snow it's magnificent and it's all done without studs and studs are 1960s technology I know so um, a lot of people I mean I live in Miami so mm -hmm. all season tires or summer tires must be okay right. although some sometimes when it rains a lot not winter tires like these ones, but like other technologies and the, for example, the all-wheel drive system, it really helps in the water too, because oh, it gets very slippery, right? It does. So. You have a very interesting uh, tip for people to know when to change their tires in the oh. winter that I never heard before, actually. Well, it's really simple because people have all these different rules on when to do it, but quite simply, if you go outside and you see your breath, Yeah. That's the time you want to you put go, your winter tire. Right. You see you know, the, like if we were outside, they would see the right yeah. now because <laughs> it's cold. Oh yeah, but, for sure. And then people, well, how do you know when to swap them back to your all-season or summer tires? It's when you can't see you it anymore. The same, yeah. Mm -hmm. And usually, I mean, you can tell. Uh, I mean, that's like a pretty practical way to do it. Yes. But I assume, like maybe the temperature dictates something like that too. Well, the temperature, the compounds are so different. It's funny how many people don't realize how much technology goes into a, you know, like a Bridgestone products. Yeah. There's so much research and development. And when you think about the temperatures, like what's today? Uh, I minus know, sure. eight it was okay. this afternoon, <laughs> and this minus morning. Eight. Yeah. Sunny, but minus yeah. eight, it's rather brutal. It's beautiful, but it's, uh, it's if you, cold. If you took a traditional, I'd say a summer tire right now, yeah. And say you took a segment of it, you had three pieces of tire, right? One off of a summer tire, one off an all season, and one off of Lizax. You would find that in this type of temperature, the summer tire, which does great in warm temperature, yeah. it's going to be extremely rigid. And then the all season's going to have a little bit more you know, flex to it, a little more, more give. The Lizax is going to have this incredible uh, 
where you're gonna feel it. it it's absolutely maintains its subtle so compounding and have the adhesion without getting hard and rigid like a summer or an all season would do in this type of temperature. So, I mean, obviously the, the recommendation from for all manufacturers is that you really have to invest. In, if you live in a, an extreme climate place, you really need to invest in your tires because you're protecting your bigger investment, which oh, is your car, right? And you think about what you're riding in your car, Javier. Yeah, you and me, yes, in this case. Right, us, and, and if, it, if we're with our family or yeah. our pets, you know, they're living, breathing beings, the most precious things in our world. Absolutely. And they're navigating. Contact patch of a tire is very small. And when you think about the compromised surfaces, whether it's rain or ice or just having the ability to maneuver and avoid a potential incident, that is boiling down to technology, compounding engineering, and unless you know that world of tires and products as such, you don't realize how much goes into that to yeah. give you that ride that you want, the peace of mind that you have, and like in the Mazda, with the iActive uh, all-wheel drive system, it's doing everything for you so you don't have to worry about anything. Yeah, so now we're driving here on the road, uh, which is clean. It snowed here like 36 inches in the past couple <laughs> days, but now it's clean. Yes. Nice. So you also see some difference when you're driving on the pavement, obviously, from a winter tire, from a regular tire, right? Right, right. Oh, you sure would. If we were just in an all-season tire right now, in a dry road like this, it does all right. It really does. It doesn't have the technology built within it to take the extreme temperatures that we do yeah. have built into our Lizax. And if we were in a summer tire right now, it'd be, it would, the compounding would be extremely hard. Yeah, so, and to the point that it can break, right? Well, <laughs> I mean, I'm like, sure if it's like really, really cold, I guess. I guess depending on the tire and what it's made out of, I've never experienced such with our products. Yeah. But you know, I, it's above my pay grade to know the rest of the stuff. Oh, probably, yeah. <laughs> so. So we're gonna go back to here, the Mazda camp, where yes. we've been, oh, I already missed it again. It's so hard, it's like a hidden, little, <laughs> hidden little snow palace. Like yeah, but I'm gonna wait for this car to go by. And again, when you're driving in the wind, in the, these conditions in the winter wonderland like this, you really have to pay extra attention to everything because yes, the cars are, are amazing with the technology, uh, like the, all-wheel drive system this car is really really fantastic and uh, your product the, the tires are also Absolutely. there's also human there's a human element oh, to yes. everything we're all human that's the part yeah. that factors into everything and you know, people don't always you, you'll get common things like oh you know what I have all season I don't need that yeah. but the day that you do need it the day you hit black ice or the day that something were to happen that you didn't expect because life is full of unknown variables know, that change and can change really really quickly and think of investment and return that moment that that like in the Mazda's case when the uh, iActive all-wheel drive system kicks in and you've got the Blizz X digging into that ice for you and you're able to avoid a potential incident to me that peace of mind and the confidence behind the wheel because you invested well yeah, is priceless absolutely it's completely worth well completely worth well, thank you very much for, oh, for your my time. My pleasure, Javier. And, uh, no, it's, now we're comfortable here. We have heat <laughs> yeah, theaters, I got the AC going on. Sure but go we're going <laughs> We could with these tires. <laughs> yeah, we could. But uh, we're going to go back to the camp and like uh, finish all the exercises here with us, okay? Absolutely. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Javier.